When a busy mom loses her purse, she panics. Surprisingly, Elon Musk returns it, and what happens next goes completely viral. It was a typical sunny afternoon in a quiet neighborhood in Los Angeles when Kara Johnson, a busy mother of two, realized her purse was missing. She just returned from a chaotic grocery shopping trip, balancing groceries in one hand and her toddler in the other. With her mind occupied by her usual to-do list and the constant whirlwind of parenting, she didn't notice until much later that her purse was no longer on her shoulder. She turned the house upside down in search of it, but it was nowhere to be found. Panic set in quickly. Kara's purse contained all the essentials. Her wallet with her driver's license, credit cards, and even a little bit of cash she'd taken out for emergencies. Not to mention her house keys, phone, and some sentimental items. It hadn't even occurred to her that it was missing. Her husband had already been at home when she got back from the grocery store, so there had been no need to look for the keys, and she'd been so busy all afternoon that she hadn't given it a second thought. She retraced her steps, trying to remember where she could have left it. Then it hit her. She'd placed her purse in the shopping cart while loading the groceries into her cart. In the rush of getting her children buckled into their seats, she'd completely forgotten to retrieve the purse from the cart. She felt like such an idiot, but she immediately called the grocery store, hoping that someone had turned it in. The store employees checked, but there was no sign of it. Kara even went back to the store to check all the carts herself, hoping no one had grabbed it in the meantime, but luck wasn't on her side. Defeated and worried, she returned home, sure that her purse was gone for good. The thought of canceling her cards and changing the locks on her house weighed heavily on her mind. She braced herself for the hassle that was sure to follow, all because she'd been so absent-minded. Her husband reassured her and told her that these things happened. There was no point in beating herself up about it. He offered whatever help she needed, and Kara smiled, once again thinking how lucky she'd got to marry such a great guy. The next morning, however, something unexpected happened. There was a soft knock on Kara's front door. Surprised, she paused before realizing that she couldn't check the doorbell camera footage on her phone before answering, as her cell phone was in her missing purse. Her husband had gone out to work and she was dashing around the house, caring for two kids, whilst trying to get all the chores done. She didn't need any unnecessary disruption. But as she approached the front door, what she saw left her both puzzled and relieved. A man stood at her doorstep, holding what looked like her purse. He was casually dressed in a simple t-shirt and jeans, wearing a baseball cap that shielded most of his face from the camera's view. Kara didn't recognize him, but he seemed friendly enough. Her first thought was that this was a kind stranger who'd found her lost purse. She hurried to grab the handle, opening the door in a rush to find the man smiling slightly as he held out her purse. The relief was immediate. She couldn't believe her luck. Her purse had been found, and everything appeared to be intact. She thanked the man profusely, overwhelmed by gratitude for his honesty. In her rush of emotion, Kara didn't even take a moment to study his face closely. She was simply focused on the fact that someone had gone out of their way to return her belongings. It wasn't often you come across someone so compassionate and caring these days. She had half expected to never see her purse again, and when she'd seen it in the stranger's hands, a dark thought had crossed her mind. She'd immediately wondered what was missing from inside, fearing that the man had taken all the cash and perhaps even the cards. She'd called the bank to cancel them the night before, but she still feared someone might have gone on a shopping spree while she was too lost in thought to notice the purse was missing. But she'd quickly shaken the thought from her mind, knowing that she needed to remain thankful and positive, and her attitude had been rewarded with a perfectly intact purse. Feeling compelled to show her appreciation, Kara offered the man a reward for his kindness. She reached into her purse, pulling out a small stack of bills she kept for emergencies. The man shook his head with a modest smile, clearly declining the offer. But Kara insisted, wanting to express her thanks in some way. He remained polite but firm in his refusal, giving a wave as if to say it was no trouble at all, and then he turned to leave. It struck Kara as a little strange, but she wasn't going to force the man to take her money, since he clearly didn't want it. She stuffed the bills back in her bag and called out her thanks once again. As the man walked away, Kara felt an immense sense of relief and gratitude. The world could be such a chaotic place, but moments like this reminded her that good, honest people were still out there. What was even more remarkable was that there wasn't a single thing missing from her purse. She didn't think much more of it as she went about her day, simply feeling lucky that her lost purse had been returned by such a kind stranger. 
Later that afternoon, when she finally had a moment to herself, Kara shared the heartwarming story with her friend Emily, who was equally impressed by the man's honesty. The two women decided that the stranger's good deed deserved more recognition than a simple thank you. They came up with the idea to start a small online fundraiser as a reward for the man's kindness. Maybe he'd felt awkward taking money from her on the doorstep. After all, he hadn't really said much, so Kara guessed he might have been a bit shy and introverted. It seemed like a fun and meaningful way to show their appreciation, and they thought it could serve as an inspiring example of paying it forward. They set up the fundraiser, describing the stranger's good deed and explaining how he'd refused any cash reward in person. As part of the fundraiser, Kara uploaded a clip from her doorbell camera showing the man standing on her porch holding her purse. She didn't have his name, but the video was clear enough, and they hoped that someone in their community might recognize him, so at least his family and friends would know what a kind-hearted man he was. Kara and Emily were excited to see if others would contribute to reward this stranger for his honesty. They set a modest goal of $1,000, thinking it would be a nice surprise for him if they could find him again. Within hours of posting the fundraiser, people began donating. Messages of support poured in from friends, neighbors, and strangers alike. No one was paying much attention to the doorbell footage that Kara had shared. They were just wrapped up in the nice story, needing something uplifting in a tough world. It was heartening to see how people were willing to contribute to a good cause. But then, something unexpected started to happen. The comments on the fundraiser took a sudden turn as people began pointing out something Kara had completely missed. Um, is that Elon Musk? The first comment like that caught Kara off guard. She reread it several times, convinced it must be some kind of joke. Elon Musk, the billionaire tech mogul? Why would he be returning her purse? But as more and more comments started coming in, Kara realized that many people were saying the same thing. The man in the video, the one who had kindly returned her purse and refused any cash reward, looked an awful lot like Elon Musk the more she compared her doorbell footage to other photos and videos of the billionaire. Curious and a bit skeptical, Kara pulled up the doorbell footage again and studied it more closely. Were people trying to wind her up? Was it some weird internet joke? All she wanted to do was thank the stranger, but something told her to keep studying the photos and videos. The man in the video had been wearing a cap and casual clothes, making it easy for her to overlook any obvious details. But now, with the idea planted in her mind, she began to see it. The strong jawline, the distinctive facial features… it was him. The stranger who'd returned her purse was in fact Elon Musk, one of the richest men in the world. It wasn't a prank, it was very real. Suddenly, it all made sense. His refusal of the cash reward, his modest demeanor, it wasn't just an ordinary stranger who'd done a good deed, it was Elon Musk, billionaire and CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. Kara's heart raced as the realization hit her. She'd tried to offer Elon Musk money as a reward for returning her purse, and now she'd started a fundraiser for him. He was one of the richest men in the world. No wonder he'd repeatedly refused her offer. Kara quickly called Emily, and the two women burst into laughter, not quite believing what they'd done. For as innocent as it was, though, they needed to stop the fundraiser. Elon Musk certainly didn't need $1,000. They didn't want people to get the wrong idea and think that they were trying to scam money from people when it had been an honest mistake. Luckily, the story was far too funny for people to think badly of Kara or Emily. Word spread quickly, and the story went completely viral. Within a day, Kara's fundraiser had blown up. She'd stop the donations as soon as she'd realized who the man was that she was raising money for, and ensured that anyone who donated already received a refund. But the comments were still active, with thousands of people commenting on the hilarious yet heartwarming situation. There were posts everywhere with titles such as, Elon Musk returns woman's lost purse, she starts fundraiser for billionaire, and woman tries to reward Elon Musk for good deed, doesn't realize who he is. Kara took it all in stride, though. At least a bit of lighthearted fun was spreading around the internet, rather than some of the dark stories that tended to dominate social media. The internet couldn't get enough of the story. People loved the wholesomeness of it all, how Kara and Emily had been so genuine in their desire to reward the stranger for his kindness, not realizing they were dealing with a billionaire. The fact that Elon Musk had done something as simple as returning a lost purse made him seem more relatable, more human to the public. He was often a divisive figure, but this was a story that everyone could warm to. 
The contrast between Musk's massive wealth and the modest $1,000 fundraiser was simply too amusing to ignore, and social media exploded with jokes, memes, and praise for both the women and Elon. One meme that went viral featured a picture of Musk next to a caption that read, Refuses $20 reward, gets offered $1,000 fundraiser instead. Elon Musk, still richer than all of us. It was a personal favorite of Kara's husband, who still hadn't stopped crying with laughter at what his wife had done. As soon as he'd seen the footage, he'd known exactly who the man was, although it felt surreal seeing the billionaire at his door. He couldn't believe that Kara and Emily hadn't realized it. He'd playfully teased his wife over what she'd done, but he found it super endearing that she'd been keen to thank a stranger in such a thoughtful way. Despite the overwhelming attention, Kara and Emily took it all in good spirit. Sure, it was a little embarrassing that Elon Musk had been on her doorstep and she'd not even realized, and not to mention she'd offered him a cash reward when he was used to much larger sums of money, but Kara didn't mind at all. The memes and jokes were completely harmless, and some good was coming from it too. The fundraiser was never really meant to be seen by anyone outside of the local area, but now the story had spread worldwide. The woman seized the opportunity to suggest that those who had donated or had been contemplating doing so should probably use the money to contribute to a charity of their choice instead. And of course, both Kara and Emily led by example. They donated to local charities for homeless people and families in dire straits, glad to know that at least Kara's moment of embarrassment was actually helping charities out. The response from the public was overwhelmingly positive. People appreciated the way Kara and Emily handled the situation and many commented on how refreshing it was to see such a wholesome, good-natured story gain so much attention. The sentiment of donating to a charity instead seemed to gain some traction too, with people commenting on the original fundraiser with where they'd chosen to send their money instead. In the end, what began as a small act of honesty turned into a completely viral sensation. The story of Elon Musk returning a woman's lost purse and the unexpected online fundraiser that followed became a symbol of how, despite the immense wealth and power held by some, the basic values of kindness and honesty still held a place in everyday life. It was a reminder that even the most unlikely figures, like a billionaire CEO, could perform simple, meaningful acts of goodwill without expecting anything in return. For Kara, the experience left her with an incredible story to tell for the rest of her life. She would forever remember the day she unknowingly tried to start a fundraiser for one of the richest men on the planet, and how the story had captivated millions of people around the world. However, she did vow to keep a closer eye on her purse in the future, no matter how distracted she was. She knew she'd gotten lucky, and if it happened again, she probably wouldn't have as much good fortune or fun. Now, it's over to you. What do you think of this story? Do you know any other stories where celebrities have done good deeds but haven't been recognized until later? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.